Hey friends, Shane from HydroWrench.com and we're going to show you, we're getting ready to restore these engine cases and one of the things we need to do is get the, the bearings that we, we showed in the last video, they're all in spec. We want to get those out because we obviously aren't going to vapor blast those. And uh, before I show you how to do that, and it's not just simply about taking them out, but what we, we really want to think about is that we don't mix up left and right and one, two, three, four. I can't write on these very easy. I mean, I could take them off and try to write on the backside, but I got a much easier way to do this. And then we started out in uh, timestamps. So a lot of the videos you can jump around and get right to the information you want. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. But the point I want to make is when you think about this engine case, when, when a lot of people take something off and they set it on a bench to then go, you know, start working on it and prying those out, you're gonna see here in a second I'm wearing gloves too and there's a reason. Now what happened is this bearing from this left side is now on the right and it's gonna be really easy to get confused. So the very first thing that I wanna do is I wanna go ahead here and I want to Go like this so this would be the orientation and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply flip that in this direction now what that's going to do is let me keep one to one two to two so on and so on the other thing that I'm doing just because I think it's a really good habit is I have the engine set on the bench actually this is the part that's upside down this would be the nominal part here's your transmission here's where your counter shaft sprocket would be so I like to set things out in an orientation as, as they are on the motorcycle when I'm working on it. So this would be the left side, which would be one, two, uh, three, four for cylinders, and one, two, three, four, five for the mains. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply just take my crankshaft. It's not super important here at this point. I'm just kind of setting this up so it's not gonna roll around on me. You're gonna see here in a second. Next thing you wanna do, hopefully these aren't too small, is I'm going to put some gloves on because per every plastic gauge bearing manufacturer will tell you, I don't know why, but they tell you don't touch it with your finger. The little bit that I've heard is that the oils in your fingers are contaminants, especially if you pick anything up off the bench or anything else can get into that bearing. So one thing we wanna do is treat these with really, 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 Really good caution. Makes sense, pal? Yep. All right. Now that I have gloves on that I hate, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, there's no top or bottom or this doesn't matter. Actually, if you wanna get in tight here, I'll just show what we have here. We have a couple different little relief tabs. That's a locating pin so that when you put the crank calves on, that's what holds that so it doesn't spin in the engine case. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of pressure right here, okay? I'm gonna set that off to the side here. I'm gonna grab my matching one, okay? Set it like that. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna grab some grease around here. So that's my number one main. Go ahead and try and just get those to sit on there. Hopefully I have enough grease. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a cable tie. Okay, I'm being very intentional, not scratch these or damage these. Okay. I first attempted just to run the zip tie backwards. If you've ever seen that trick where then you don't need cutters to work with it, but these cheap zip ties just weren't doing what I wanted. So uh, whatever you do, just don't you know crank it down there so hard you're gonna cause any damage. It's just to hold it in place. You know, I want them to be stable enough that I can at least, you know, maybe move to another bench or something. Right. Makes sense. All right, my friends, that is how you could go ahead and make things super simple. And what you'll see a lot of people do is they're going to use baggies, right? And that's what I was used to do. The challenge with the baggies is that now you have to think about how you're storing parts, right? So if you think about up in here, and if I have those fragile bearings that something potentially heavy could be put on it or whatnot, I don't care how good you label them, but now you talk about another risk, right? right? There's no better place to store those than on a, the crankshaft, yep. not only for location, but also because we're trying to protect them. 
I'll see a lot of people take brand new ones and have them laid out and they sized them and they scoop things up at the end of the day and think they can throw it in a box. These are something you want to be very fragile with. We don't want to change their shape, scar them, nick them, or anything else. Any damage to these for surely lowers oil pressure. Right. There's no doubt about it. A scratch, a nick, a bend, or anything is going to affect that. So, like I said, best you know, best place when you don't need to take them out, leave them where, leave them in the case. And when you need to take them out, this is how I do it. I love it. You'll notice all the connecting rods. Where are they? You know, they're still on the rods. All right, my friends. Make sure like, share, subscribe. Make it a great day. And as always, keep wrenching. Hey friends, we're super excited to announce that the How to Wrench channel has been approved for memberships. What's that mean for you? What would it look like if you could get member-only content? Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you miss the old deep dive long videos. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers. I mean, really people from all over the world, over 200 countries are using our content to get a deep understanding to uh, help themselves or to advance in their career. Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's gonna go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're gonna get the deep dive videos. Two, you're gonna get access to member-only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a back and forth Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that and with the member channel it's going to really make it more intimate we're going to be able to bring that back into more of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots this community has always been about helping each other and getting those answers to the questions we need i mean you got to remember i love youtube too when i want to learn something it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that i'm trying to do so we love that we can do this for you as well and we just want to make this a community that is more attentive so we want to be more relationship focused that's a big thing of the memberships the other thing is uh, YouTube does this I think it's kind of funny but we're doing the emojis so if you're a new member it's gonna be a green one we kind of went along the lines of like training does in most certification programs bronze is your entry level uh, silver is your middle of the road and then gold is your top certified but we added one more we added a red one just to say hey thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while so for all you that love that kind of stuff it's there for you what else are you gonna get with this what you're gonna get is really honestly in, in my opinion it's really a a way just to say thank you we've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg if you will but to try and encourage and remind people that hey I, I got a full-time job like I've always done this on my own buck all these expenses are my own as I moved to this new location Phoenix it's really expensive we got a building insurance you know it, we got everything so it costs a lot to be able to do all this and we really do need your help to offset some of that so this is a way for you to really easily just say thank you and create that you know like I said that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need so with that being said I hope this has caught your attention I hope you thought man that's really a great idea Look at the options below and hit that join button. It'll tell you what tiers. You can figure out what works best for you and what attracts you. We are going to get back at it. We're super excited about this. We're already going to start moving forward making content that's member only. So those videos we were just talking about. But my friends, whatever you're doing, be safe. I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money. So we're going to get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep it.